Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 15th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well as earthquakes, a look at volcanoes, and world weather. Check it out the last 48 hours on our sun. We did have another large flare M class in an earth facing position. Watch the bottom bright uh, center region. That is where this M class flare occurred. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have a couple pretty big sunspots turning in. One on the right was that very fast growing sunspot. A couple plasma filaments you can see there erecting from the surface. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing, we have two sunspot regions turning away now. After that large plasma filament, multiple C-class flares, and then an M-class solar flare today. More activity on the way, I'm sure. Four active sunspot regions looking at multi-spectrum right now. The two uh, southern hemispheres are the large solar flares, M-class and as well C-class large coronal hole ahead of the northern sunspot region a look at 171 angstroms here able to see our heliosphere and how it's reacting to all of these conditions amazing images coming from solar dynamics observatory another closer look at the m-class solar flare In an Earth-facing position, a little bit south, so it might have shot underneath of us. We shall see, but the ISWA space prediction spiral is showing an event coming our way. Looking at Alaska 2, showing all of the activity leaving our sun. From the 10th to the 15th, it was pretty quiet, pretty much right up until the 14th yesterday. 13th into the 14th, we saw about a dozen C-class flares and now an M-class solar flare. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, as you can see, that event took off towards the Parker Solar Probe and as well Mars. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 450 kilometers per second. Not too much to talk about there. Schumann resonance for today is a power of 42. A little bit down from yesterday but still highly energetic. Amplitude of 42, power 26, quality of 7.9. So the quality is not too bad. Now let's get to earthquakes here the past 24 hours, as we did have a sizable earthquake after the report yesterday. 6.4 rang out Loyalty Islands region, 78 kilometer depth. We also had a 4 in Lavuka, Fiji, 587 kilometer depth today, 4.9 there, Kermadec Islands as well, 4.4, Solomon Islands, 5.1 there, Papua New Guinea, and lots of activity up into the Philippines today, uh, 4.7 there, Ternate, 5.4, Philippines, and northward, 4.9 and a 4.5, so Philippines is a rocking today. 4.8 here, Batang, Indonesia, but very deep, 552 kilometer depth. Another earthquake in China to report, a 5.3 is Shanghai. And as well, a 4.6 here reported in Yemen, off the shoreline, and as well, a 4.1 here in Portugal. 5.0 reported here, St. Helena, Georgetown, South Atlantic, and all of a sudden, it's quiet across South America and into Central America, except for continual miners swarm there in Puerto Rico. United States, across North American plate, pretty quiet as well. Nothing major to report. Just recently, we had a 4.7 in Russia. And as well, a 4.8 there in just south of Kamchatka. So definitely seeing an uptick in larger earthquakes this last little bit as forecasted here with daily events worldwide. Now let's get to Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent satellite imagery. 
and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated a couple tornadoes to talk about one in corpus christi texas warning going out looking at semeru in indonesia nevada de ruiz colombia Raventador in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, Sangay in Ecuador. About 140 active alerts here. Carrying on here amongst all the fires and floods. Era in Japan. As well, Cadavor, Papua New Guinea, awakened two days ago. Fuego, Guatemala, Swiss and Najima, Japan, Dekono in Indonesia. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today in the past 24 hours. We do have one tropical storm to talk about. Yvette is alive, but nothing major to talk about there. Around the world, looking at Australia, there are fires breaking out in southwest of Townsville in northeast Australia as well. Northern Territory, Australia. Pine Creek reporting a fire. Fires are breaking out across Africa as well, South Africa through Angola. The fires up into Spain and France have since calmed down. Now they're starting to break out in South America. Now let's have a look at this tropical system that's affecting Texas. That's right, a tropical system downgraded. Should have been named a couple days ago, but it's now dropping tornado warnings as it grinded into the shoreline of South Texas and Mexico as well. Very stormy conditions across northern Mexico right now with this system. Let's just have a quick look at the track of this system right from August 11th up until today. So this was a tropical low in the Gulf of Mexico formed just south of New Orleans and then started heading straight west into South Texas. Corpus Christi, as I said, tornado watches and warnings going out with this pretty sizable system and it's not set to downgrade over the next 24 hours. It's just going to grind up into Southern Texas so heads up, stay safe, Texans. Quick look at the live satellite imagery. This is the past 24 hours. As it brought in quite a swath of moisture out of the Gulf of Mexico and up into Texas. So there are flood alerts, heavy rainfall watches, and as well, tornado watches and warnings going out. Pretty big system. Surprised it was not a named storm. Now let's get to world weather here. Brought to you by Venture Sky and daily events worldwide overlooking North America. We still have a pretty big low developing and grinding up into the Atlantic provinces this week. Alberta Clipper coming out and affecting parts of northern Ontario. And as well, a central United States low developing there. Dry across the west coast. Big low up into Alaska, East Pacific Coast. And then daily, pretty much, we're going to get daily evaporation storms. A couple systems affecting northern Ontario. And then a long range here. Watch for Florida to light up with thunderstorms. And as well, some extreme weather conditions as that trough line dips really far south. Cold front pushing through Thursday into Friday. And there's that Alberta clipper coming into the United States, central and east. Other than that, it's going to be pretty dry across east and west. Most of the activity has been central. Overlooking Central America, we do have Yvette and as well two other lows developing here in the East Pacific. Overlooking South America.
stormy conditions through Argentina border and Brazil. Other than that, daily evaporation rains northward and very, very dry central and south. Pretty big lows there in the southern hemisphere overlooking Africa. Daily evaporation rains could be heavy at times through Congo region and as well west coast of Africa. Long range forecast could see a tropical depression here form in the Atlantic. Stay tuned to daily events. Overlooking Europe, no major changes coming to you, no major systems coming to you. Except for Saturday into Sunday, you could see stormy conditions through Eastern Europe and up into Finland, Sweden. Overlooking Southeast Asia, Indonesia, Papua New Guinea. Still lots of rain falling through parts of India. And as well, a low grinding up into India yet again for Friday. Pretty big system here affecting the Philippines Friday into Saturday. And as well, overlooking North China, uh, North Korea, sorry, North Korea, South Korea. Watch for a system to develop here, head up into Eastern Russia. Overlooking Australia. Still watching a couple of waves of moisture come through here, Tuesday into Wednesday. For parts of Southeast and Southwest Australia. And as well, quite a big system here heading down into New Zealand for the long-range forecast for next weekend. Much love, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the, today's update. Stay aware, prepared, stay young, and have fun. And get your daily due. And please, don't forget to hit that like button. Maybe leave a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. Much love, and God bless humanity. Bye-bye now. Today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family across the world.